hey, I just got up. I was reading some of the comments about um this video that I did with Amanda last night. Dude, I we watched it after it, we made it. She went out to have a cigarette, and then I was sitting in here. And then when she came back in, we were talking. David and Dominic were here, and we are all talking a little bit. We watched the video. It was really interesting. I, I saw what I did wrong. I mean, if there's such a thing as wrong, but I saw what happened is when I tried to kiss her, that was like aggressive behavior. I like physically aggressed on her to establish dominance. It was like an animal animal thing. I didn't realize it when I was doing it. I just wanted to kiss her, but watching it, I saw, and she wasn't comfortable with that because of all this transgression, because of all the physical shit that's been going on, how I fucked these other women and lied. And she, it's like a trust thing, you know? I can't aggress on her in general. If I, if I aggress on her in general, if I have sex with her, it's gonna make things worse. And that's, I've been talking to her about sex and how I think it's a, this aggressive behavior is detrimental to a relationship. So I haven't been doing it. We haven't had sex in a while, in a few days. And she's come up to me a few times and, and started to like say that she wants to or started to like rub my back or like, and I just said, you know, we should, not right now. Let's communicate instead. And I saw in the fucking video, I tried to kiss her, and she got pissed off. And then, from then on, I just, I saw myself just freak out, and I didn't know what to do, and I started talking a lot, when I should have been listening. It's fucking crazy what, what I learned from watching these videos. And we both watched it, and then we talked for hours and hours last night. It was great. Like, I, uh, man, it's... It's a painful situation, but it's, I like how we're handling it, you know, talking about it. And the video is like, watching it, we were laughing at points, but listening. Uh, that was what I really took out of it. I mean, I, I know I'm an annoying asshole sometimes, but, you know, it's it's just, that's human nature. People are just... That's how people are. It's either people are, like, obnoxious sometimes, or people hold back. And I'd much rather people be just obnoxious and be themselves. I mean, Amanda's obnoxious as hell half the time. She just gets, you know, she gets angry, too. She, everybody's got their obnoxious tendencies, but it's fine. Who gives a fuck? Let people be who they are. I love people. I like, I like listening to people get annoyed and, and ask, talking about it. And like trying to smooth things and and overcome all that shit that annoy that why we get annoyed like why do we even get annoyed anyway what's really annoying us because none of this shit matters none of this physical stuff matters my cell phone charger my cell phone it doesn't matter if my cell phone dies and I get annoyed why it has nothing to do with me it has nothing to do with me and yet I let it affect me. Um, really the only thing that matters is, th is the people to me. All this other stuff was built by people, and we'll build more of it. And it will always be there in some form. But the people are the most important thing. Um, that was, I was going to do something about Christmas too. Uh, Menace XP wants me to do a Christmas vlog. Oh, listen to me and Amanda argue with Santa hats on. <laughs> I thought you meant a Christmas vlog, like, about Christmas and what I think about Christmas. I'll tell you what I think about Christmas. I think it's fucking a waste. I think it's a... I like the concept, but it's become just ruined. The whole... Like, a Santa hat is stupid. All right. I'm not going to get angry about Christmas, but it's become corporatized. Is that a word? Corporations have taken it and made it into something. What the hell is Santa Claus? It's a it's an aberration of it's awful. It's it's freaky. What is this? A a fat man that flies around in the sky to bring gifts, to bring presents, presents, things that don't matter. It's about Jesus. It's about what Jesus said and applying that it, with your family. Because when you apply that stuff with your family, that's when I think when it starts to it flow out all, everywhere else. Our relationship with our family is very important. Or friends. Or whoever you're with. But but live the words that the man spoke. I mean, they were they were pretty right on. So much so that we built a holiday for it. I mean, 
there's a lot of people that listen to it. I don't know why people get so distracted with Christmas now. I did my whole life until recently. Now I'm like, it's just another day, but it's a day to really think, take, take your life into perspective, take my life into perspective and look at, am I really living life? Turning the other cheek and listening and not aggressing on people and not getting angry at people and not judging people and not and not what are some other things not just judging people but I'm not well am I, I I'm sure I am and I don't realize it am I forgiving people for being angry I'm trying to when people get angry, I'm trying to just forgive it immediately, not let their anger make me angry. I see people angry and just allow for it. Just let it be. I think Christmas is, uh, is about opening up to people and about being kind and listening. It has nothing to do with gifts. Celebration in general is dangerous. I mean, why do we celebrate? It's one thing to celebrate because something great happened, but it's another thing to celebrate for the sake of it, like a birthday. What the hell is a birthday? What are we really celebrating? Getting gifts, getting video games, getting money? What the fuck is that? So I'm going to make Christmas this year a celebration about something real. Amanda and I, we've broken up a few times in the past and it's a lot of I think two of the three times it's been in around the holidays or just after the holidays that's not gonna happen this year I'll see you